I'm Dr. Susanna Copeland, here today with our lab director, Dr. Sushma Singh, and our third-party program director, nurse practitioner Stephanie Bartlett. When patients are making decisions about donor selection, there are many options, and it can be confusing. Fresh versus frozen. Dr. Singh, what are the advantage of fresh donor eggs? Typically, we see a higher fertilization rate and a better embryo development rate with fresh donor eggs. So when looking for a donor, if a patient finds a donor they match with and it's a fresh donor, that's going to optimize their cycle. But sometimes they aren't seeing a donor who they feel they match with fresh. What are your thoughts on frozen donor eggs? Yes, having frozen donor eggs has made so many choices available to our patients. But there are two important things to note about frozen donor eggs. First is that eggs are not the same as embryos. So when you purchase frozen donor eggs, you will need to contact our third party team to start the embryo creation process. And the second important thing is that not all frozen eggs will survive the freeze thaw process. So if you start with eight frozen donor eggs, for example, you may end up with one or two usable embryos at the end. That's a great point. When a patient is selecting frozen donor eggs, we ask that they order more than they would consider in a fresh donor egg program. Stephanie, what are your thoughts on frozen donor eggs? What do you advise? Yeah, so important thing to note is before you purchase the frozen donor eggs, we want you to connect for a consult with Dr. Singh so she can review that process with you. The third party team will also review the donor profile to be sure that the match is suitable. Once you have purchased the frozen donor eggs, our third party team will start the embryo creation process. Every patient's journey is unique. We look forward to meeting with you to discuss the path forward.